Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel as always. Sorry if you guys can hear noise in the background. It's so hot and it's disgusting in my apartment so I have the windows open and it's pouring rain so apologize for that. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, um, we're all in quarantine. I'm sure we're all going a little bit crazy and I haven't chopped off my hair yet. But I gave myself a haircut and it's so bad. It's so, so bad. So this is like the front and then it's longer in the back and it wasn't supposed to be like that. So thinking of just chopping it all off to here. And then like back here, if you guys can see, there's like, I don't even know what happened here. There's like hair that's like two inches. So... It's a mess and I'm sure a lot of you are going through the same thing or already chopped off all of your hair so you guys are feeling me. Um, the reason why I was terrified to chop off my hair is God forbid if it turns out horribly like I don't know what I would do because I'm not a hair I'm not a professional hairstylist so I don't know how to do hair but I just did my roots the other day and I think they came out decent so yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a U-part wig. So it's not hair extensions, it's an actual wig, but it's a little bit different for those of you who don't know. So, let's get started. All right, so firstly, since I just re-dyed my hair, it is darker than the actual wig color, um, but I'm sure in a few washes, the silver hair will start to fade because it normally fades to like a weird like white color. Here is my wig like I said you guys can see it's definitely it's a few shades lighter but that's okay it will fade to this color um when you guys purchase a wig it can be literally any wig from Amazon this one was like 15 or 18 dollars I'll put the link below for this exact wig it doesn't need to be expensive at all because again you're you're going to have your actual roots showing so that's why like having a lace front you don't need to spend the money on so for those of you who don't know, a lace front wig, probably should grab one, but it's it's the where the front right here is actual lace, so it looks like um, like your scalp, so you can literally part it like wherever. Those can get a little pricey, and like the ones on Amazon, the cheaper ones, they, they just don't look real, and so normally I'll go in and have to like pluck out the hairline and stuff like that, and they just, they don't look real. Whereas like if you get super nice wigs, like Jeffree Star, for example, his wigs cost thousands of dollars, but it looks so good. Um, and so obviously, like I said, I don't have that kind of money to be dropping on wigs one day, but not yet. So the nice thing about a U-part wig is it's literally, they call it a U-part because it's literally a U-shape. And so this part right here is going to be your actual hair. And then all of this hair will get pulled back and so you'll still have your actual roots exposed you can part it wherever you want and then the rest will be one giant wig so you don't have to worry about clipping in clip in hair extensions because that can get so time consuming so I'm gonna show you guys how to make it I'm not gonna actually show you cuz I don't have one to make and I wish I would have recorded this but I didn't I didn't so I'm just gonna explain so obviously the first step when choosing a wig is to choose a wig that's going to match your natural hair color um, unless if you want to do something crazy on top go for it but for me I tried to find one that matched as closely as possible um, so here's the wig it's pretty long it's actually really nice quality granted it is synthetic um, it's heat safe though so you can style it however you want but Again, it was like 15 or 18 bucks. I'm not gonna be spending a crap ton of money on real hair. Sure, let's see how to explain this since I already chopped it all off. I have all these little hair pieces. Um, the first thing that I did was I cut off the actual hairline. So you guys can see here, this was supposed to be the top. This was the amount of lace they put on here so it wasn't that much so you can't repart it it only stayed parted in the middle which again is fine because this is going in the garbage this piece of hair went right in here so basically what I did was I just let me let me grab another wig to show you guys actually okay so here is another wig so if you guys look on the inside you can see right in here is where that little piece of lace is so I first started out by just cutting this out and the easiest way to do that is to look on the back and then literally you just kind of want to part the hair. So once the hair is parted you can see here that there's actual like tracks in the hair. So 
see how there's a track right in here. So you do want to make sure that you are parting the hair so you're not accidentally cutting off all of this. And again, you can see that all on the inside, all these different tracks. So you just kind of want to measure out how far, how much hair you'll want on your natural hair to be exposed. And then again, you want to follow one of these and just go choo -choo 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 and cut all of that out. You don't want to go too, too crazy. As you guys can see on this one, I only cut that for, oh God, I'm still zoomed in this first part off and then after I cut this piece off I took it and I just kind of put it on my head to see how wide this was going to be because you don't want it like all the way down here obviously but you don't just want like two inches um, or else you know there's just not enough of your natural hair to cover up these tracks so it was originally like like that and I was like okay that's obviously not gonna work so then what I decided to do was go back in and cut another one of these wefts and I ended up cutting two extra so you guys can see these were all inside see this one still has two attached to it and so these can go in the garbage all right so then your next step is after you chop all of that off. You just have this open hair. Also, the clip, this one, there were two on these sides, so I just removed them and re sewed it on here. Um, and then these little clips, so they just open, close, open, close. You just bend them. So I ended up putting five on here. So these are all the clips. You can buy these. I got them at Sally's long time ago and this is regular sewing thread I don't recommend using that just because wig thread is actually a lot thicker so this can break easier but I mean if that's all you have then it will work so the brand of thread that I use is just double double value weaving thread it's like 99 cents at Sally so I use the blonde one they also have um, brown I think they have a few shades of brown. I think that's it, but I don't know. So these are the needles. Again, you can just use regular sewing needles. I highly recommend getting some of these. They're cheap and the curvature on them honestly helps so much trying to like get the um, needle through the weft. So highly recommend these. All right, so I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to sew this on camera. So first you wanna thread your needle. Honestly, threading with this course of thread, it's a mess. Um, you just gotta keep trying. That's honestly my best advice, just keep trying. So once you have it through, I like to keep one shorter and then one longer. And then to tie, and not, some people will tie them together like that. I don't personally like to do that. No rhyme or reason, it's just, I don't. <laughs> so I'll take the longer thread and wrap it around my finger once. Focus. So it looks like that and then just twist it and then pull it. Sometimes you have to do it a few times, but it made a very tiny knot. And I'll do that like two, three, maybe four times, just because you want to make sure that your knot is larger than the hole on this clip. Because if the knot's smaller, it's just gonna go straight through it. So I just kind of eyeball it. So like right here, still not big enough. And I'd rather, just make the knot very large, just in case. Because I've done that before where I was sewing a clip or a weft and after being almost finished, it just completely went through the hole. And I was like, great, now I have to redo it, so. All right, so we've got our knot. We've got the short side, the long side. And the reason why I like doing this is because you can just keep pulling the thread as you use more of it so it mentally feels like you're using less thread. I don't know. Okay, so once you have your needle threaded and tied, you're gonna go ahead and place the clip onto the weft. We're gonna go, I only use these top two holes, I don't use the third one just because it's not really necessary. So we're gonna go through, and this is where it gets a little tricky because you don't wanna poke yourself want to push decently hard so you're just going straight through the actual fabric I know some people don't do that because it can make some of the hair fall out I think it makes it more secure though so I do prefer to do that or some people bring it under the fabric and just through the hair but I don't I don't like doing that okay so then we pull and then we're going to go back on top back to the front side 
and do the exact same thing. So we've got a little loop going here. And then I like to keep one finger. Oh my God, be, <laughs> this is so hard to film. <laughs> Make sure that the small side of the thread doesn't fall out or else you'll have to re-thread. So we, again, we came through the front side and now there's this little loop. I like to take the needle and go through, God, through the loop and then pull it nice and tight. And that, you don't have to do that um, every single time, but I like to do that because it makes it really, really, really tight. And then from there, I go down to the second hole. Here's that. Pull through and then again, loop the needle through that and then pull nice and tight. So I'll do that twice on each hole. So I'll do the top one twice, the second one twice. And then after this lower, oh my God, see it let go. And now it came unthreaded, that's okay though. We'll just pull that. Okay, so then after this one, I would go back to that first one and go through the loop twice. So let me go ahead and rethread this to show you guys. Okay, so we're back, we're rethreaded. So again, I just finished that second, that lower hole. So going back to the front, going through that very, very first hole. And then this time, because you want to seal the knot, so when we go through this loop one more time, we're going to do it twice. So we're gonna do one. I just poked myself. I'm gonna act like that didn't really freaking hurt. And two, and then boom, you can either leave it threaded, cut this off, go to the next one, or I like to pull the needle off and just really pull that nice and tight. And then you can take this and chop it and boom. Now you have one side. And then you do the exact same on the other side and then boom, they're nice, they're secure. You can go ahead and clip it in. All right, just to show you guys how sturdy this is, because obviously this is just going in the garbage, so I don't want to waste this clip, but just trying to pull that off, like, she ain't moving, so nice and secured. Okay, now for the fun part, how to actually put on the wig. So. This is the way that I like to put them on. Of course, there's probably 20 million other videos out there how to do it, but this is just my like quick fix method. First of all, you wanna decide where you want your part to be. Obviously, if your wig is like center parted and you wanna part your hair all the way over here, it's gonna be a little like wonky, so just make sure you plan accordingly. So I'm just gonna do the middle. Okay, so now we're going to part a U shape. And you want to do it about the size of how much you cut out of your wig. Again, you don't want to just do two little inches if your wig's like four inches wide. Hopefully you can see it. It's just a U shape. And again, it, the part itself does not need to like be super crisp and perfect. So I am going to put this hair. This is the hair that's going to be out in... A little bun cute 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 all right so what you can do if any of you have ever worn clip-in hair extensions you know you can take some hair and like brush it backwards and that makes it very like knotty so that way the clips have something to stick to I have very greasy and gross hair so I don't like doing that because the extensions literally will start falling out throughout the day and granted, I'm one of those people that if someone says, oh my God, you're wearing a wig, I don't care. I'll be like, yeah, okay, so, but I still don't like to have my track showing. So to get the actual clips to stay in really, really tight, I like to, and again, my wig has five clips. So I like to actually braid where the clips are gonna go. So like one's going to go right here. And then I also use, they're just these tiny, very, very, very small, sorry. I just reused them, so there's a little bit of hair on them. But they're just super tiny little rubber bands. So I'll take a section like here, and it doesn't need to be big, again, just, just the top. And I don't even braid the entire thing. I just will do just a few braids. 
like that. That's good. And then I'll put one of these rubber bands on. And then boom. So now we have a super tight little section for those clamps to go on. And then I will do that all the way around my head. So again, only where the clamps are. Okay, so now that we have all five of my braids on, now's where you get to decide what you want to do with all of this. Some people will braid it back. I honestly suck at doing hair. I can't braid. I can barely braid. Um, so what I like to do is put this in a very, very, very low bun. And then I don't make a full ponytail. I like to do that. And then that way, this part, I can just kind of smush flat. Because a regular ponytail, it just it gets too bulky, you know? Okay, now for the fun part. We get to put on our wig. So this one does have adjuster straps. I recommend adjusting the wig beforehand, before putting it on. Because it's kind of a pain to do it afterwards because you can't really see. So. so I like to adjust the back and pull the back over it last. So I'll start with the very back clip the fifth one and place that one in right in here these are not going to move with these braids that we already put on and then put these two right in here and then this last one can go up here again i know the color's completely off but we're gonna pretend like it's not also, before you put the wig on, make sure all the clips are open too, because I've done that before where I'm like, why isn't it clipping? And then I realize it's not open. All right, and then we can take this top part out and we'll bam. So obviously we need some adjusting to do because if the wind were to blow, I'd be horrified. <laughs> but for the most part, you can get away with it. And so, again, it's kind of cool because your natural hair, you can, if you want to part it this way, you can part it that way. I hate parting my hair that way, so we're just going to kind of keep it in the middle. Let me turn my straightener on. All right, so with my straightener, obviously I haven't even cut the wig or anything. It's literally not styled, but it just came in the mail yesterday too, so don't blame me. But I'm just going to style my hair on top just to kind of make it blend in a little bit better. Obviously, you'd want to put some hairspray on. Oh, God, sorry, my face was itchy. Curling it, of course, curling a wig with extensions or just anything kind of helps hide the actual, like, hair. God, they're completely two different colors. But this is how long she is. So she's pretty long. Again, like I said 20 million times, this does not match my hair at all. But after a few washes, since I just dyed it silver, it will fade to this color, hence why I ordered this color. But this is a quick way. God, there's so much hair. This is a quick way to get long, luscious hair. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, for the wig, I will put the link down in the description. Um, it also, the same brand comes with a few different colors. Um, so, you know, definitely make sure to check them out. Also, I will link all of my social media and all that fun stuff down below as always. And if you guys could please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comments, all that fun stuff, it'd be greatly appreciated, so. Thank you guys. <laughs> and if you guys have any other questions about wigs or anything, I'm not a master at all, but I do have a little bit of knowledge on it. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.